Thanks, Joe. Drivers at Kalamazoo Speedway burning rubber again now that summer's coming on. They're celebrating opening night with the Intimidator 100. And instead of race cars flaunting their sponsored decals, nearly 30 drivers are showing off the faces and the stories of two cold case murder investigations. Fox 17's Brody Carter joins us from the race pit now with the story. This year opening day is more than just about racing. It's about finding justice for the West Michigan cold case investigations on the track. Honestly, it's the it's the thrill, the butterflies you get before you go out on the track. It's a great feeling, you know. It's it's a, it's a rush that you don't get anywhere else. Motorheads flooding Kalamazoo Speedway Friday night, cheering for those taking on the need for speed. And this year, in addition to the sponsors and decals on the cars, nearly 30 drivers have chosen to advertise the face and stories of two cold case homicide victims, Eric Cross and Richard Hitchcock. It does mean a lot to this entire team just simply because we are, we do want people to see this. We want as many people to see this as possible. Kelly Younginger searching for her cousin Richie Hitchcock's remains ever since his disappearance more than 25 years ago from the Riverfront Lounge in Allegan. It helps us keep the faith and keep hope alive that one day we'll get the answers we deserve. Five cars sharing Richard's story while others are showcasing the Eric Cross campaign all season. A 16 year old who was found dead outside his home in Vicksburg, 1983. I can't tell you how many drivers I approached over the last two weeks and not one of them said no to having a decal on their car. Hoping the exposure will find someone in the crowd with new information to come forward. With more than 4,000 missing people in the state of Michigan, the Kalamazoo Motor Speedway is doing their part in spreading the message one lap at a time. In Kalamazoo, Brody Carter, Fox 17 News.